All right, so today is a quick review and demonstration of Aluminum Black by Birchwood Casey. Um, this was basically, if you take a look at this little AR-15 lower build down here, you'll notice I totally scratched up the slide release on my AR-15 build. And that really just pissed me off because nothing makes you feel worse than just marring up a brand new low receiver and I didn't have any way to fix it and I really didn't know how because I know the an anodized aluminum is like a process you gotta go through and it's chemical and I didn't know if they made stuff available like cheap over-the-counter kind of stuff to actually fix it well they do and it's Birchwood Casey aluminum black um, a lot of the a lot of things out there will try to market that hey here's some black here's a black marker that'll work like Birchwood Casey has just black for AR-15s and barrels and stuff, but really it's just paint. And I wanted to like try to at least, at least simulate the process chemically that makes basically makes anodized aluminum finishes on low AR-15 lowers. And this is basically how as close as you're going to get to getting it the way it was when you first bought it and before you messed it up. So this is a very common area that gets marred during an AR-15 build. Uh, if you slip, if you don't have little tricks to do it like I should have used a vice to put it in I didn't I used a punch and a hand and a small hammer and still ended up scratching the crap out of it so that is this is basically a really great alternative to you know just putting that black marker on it's just paint that's going to wash off the first time it gets kind of wet or the first time your sweaty hand marks on it and knock and just wipes off the paint this is going to be a good semi-permanent finish that as long as you don't scratch it up it'll be fine uh, the base, con base constructions for the stuff is pretty simple. You don't shake the bottle. You don't do anything weird. It's a little blue bottle, white label, white cap. It's uh, The material is very poisonous, so be careful with it. It's, it's corrosive, so wear gloves. I didn't because I'm an idiot. But it's there. It's, it does have a, This is a chemical reaction. It is not a paint. It is not a... It turns black because it hits the air. This is the aluminum reacting to the fin to the chemical, and the chemical actually adhering to the aluminum and making a protective layer that you would get from the factory. So this basically how it works is you just dab it with a little cotton swab or any kind of basically clean thing going on. And this whole process takes about five minutes. I sped it up to, so it took about thirty seconds. And uh, essentially, it worked perfect. I dabbed it up a couple extra times because there were parts that weren't there that the fellow weren't getting touched and by the time the five minutes was up it didn't look as good as new but it looked way better than it did and it like you have to get right up on it to see the, the flaw that's still there and you can see there's a little flaw in the center that I tried to get I couldn't quite reach so I tried again and very simple process uh, again you want to let it cure overnight give it some time to actually finish up and uh, here's a quick before and after and that's all there is to it guys you can pick it up from Cheaper Than Dirt or a lot of other stores, ha places have it. I think it was like 6 bucks, but then the shipping kills you. So, I mean, 10 bucks, and you're going to be able to take care of your aluminum anodized, anodized materials really well and actually give it a semi-professional look when you mess things up. So, I would definitely recommend this product. It was worth every penny because I barely used any of it. I used literally one cotton swab size worth of the material, and... I've, I've made myself happy with the weapon I'm making because there's not this big, gaudy, all of a sudden this really bright and shiny aluminum underneath that cool looking black stuff. Now it's gone. Now it looks great. So definitely pick some up for yourself. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. And please subscribe to my channel, like the video if it was helpful. Great purchase. And I would definitely buy it again if I had to. I probably won't have to for quite some time as long as the stuff keeps on the shelf.